those of you who are new, my name is Marie. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and be sure to click on that notification bell. That way you will always know when I upload a video here on my channel, the pandemic that's currently going on. Hope everyone is staying safe, using protective measures when you do go out. I hope this brings some joy and light to your day. Today I'm going to be doing the Sephora Spring Bonus VIB Sale Recommendations and Wish List. I have used some of these before. They're also going to be items that I want to try out and use in the future or that I plan on getting. If you guys are interested in seeing my recommendations and wish list for the Sephora Spring Bonus Sale, then make sure you guys just keep on watching. The first item that I want to mention is my Milk Makeup. This is a Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I absolutely love this. I use this like whenever I do my makeup. If I'm not going to like an event where I know there's going to be pictures or that sort of thing, that's when I use Milk and Magnesia. In combination skin, but I get oily in the T-zone area. I tend to use my Milk of Magnesia for that purpose mainly. But this stuff here is gold. Nice, cool, refreshing. It has a tacky consistency when you apply it. It absorbs into your skin. It makes your skin that perfect canvas to absorb and soak up your foundation and your concealer. It looks really well just to wear on a daily basis. This primer is oil free. This primer is supposed to grip your makeup. That's the main purpose of this primer. It does a really good job of that. It's hydrating so it's not going to be drying towards your skin when you put this on or even when you're wearing your makeup. It's very hydrating. As far as the shine and oil goes, it does a little bit of that. But for me, when I'm doing pictures, I'll stick to my Milk of Magnesia because it really soaks up the oil and I really want that gone, especially if I'm taking pictures. But this is my go-to daily wear primer that I wear. I highly recommend you guys try this product out. I have a smaller one which is 15 This is the bigger one and I believe it's 30 something dollars. I'll of course have all these products listed down below in the description box for you guys to check that out as well. This is the packaging. It's super cool. I love this. I love the color of this. It's very unique. Just look at it. It's by Fenty Beauty. This is a diamond bomb all over diamond veil. It's limited edition. The shade that I love is Cognac Candy. I believe that I'm saying that right. It's super pretty. It's perfect for the summertime. I don't have this product, but I do plan on getting it. If you guys want to see a Sephora haul once I get all the items in, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. This retails for $39. It's vegan, cruelty free. It has a 3D formula, so it's supposed to leave crystals when you apply it. It's free of sulfates and parabens. I mainly use this for a highlighter. Like this would be a really good highlighter, even though it's like all body. I would use this for highlight, especially during the summer. It's the Fenty Beauty Body Lava Body Luminizer. Body Lava Body Luminizer. That's like a tongue twister. This shade is also great to wear during the summertime. This is something that I would use to apply all over my body. I would stick with the Body Luminizer and use the Diamond Veil strictly for a highlighter. So the Body Luminizer retails for $59. It's also cruelty free and it's a sparkling copper shade. Gel base is dewy. It's light diffusing micro pearls so it gives it that sheen and shimmer when you're in the sun. The next Fenty Beauty item, of course, Gloss Balm Lip Luminizer. I believe it was Fenty Glow. I had that one. It smells so good. It smells like strawberries. I'm out. So I may pick that one up too, but the one that I plan on getting during this particular sale is hot chocolate. It's not hot chocolate, it's hot chocolate, like L-I-T, lit. Get it? This one here retails for $19. I love this because like, lips feel very moisturized and even when you don't want to wear a lipstick because some days I just don't want to wear a lipstick, I will put this on. It has a perfect amount of sheen and shine. My lips are moisturized. My lips look good. It gives a slight bit of tint. It can make your daily look, look amazing. It's by so. Youth to the People. And this is a face mask. This is a spirulina plus microalgae kale and spinach face mask. $44. It's for all skin types. It's supposed to help with firmness and elasticity in your face. Fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and uneven texture. It has a bunch of superfoods. It has kale, it has spinach, spirulina, green tea, antioxidants, store, rejuvenate your skin. It also has hyaluronic acid. It's also going to keep your skin plump, hydrated, lock in moisture, and give you a youthful looking complexion. I just want my face to look nice and healthy and glowing and youthful. What you eat is also really important, but even putting what you eat on your face really makes a big difference. I'm really looking forward to trying out this mask. There's two foundations that I do want to try out during the sale. The first one is by Smashbox. This is a Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. What I like about this one in particular is the packaging. 
It comes in a squeeze tube, which I absolutely love. You can control how much foundation that you use and how much foundation that you want to apply onto your feet. It retails for $36. It has about 40 different shades. They have undertones, which is really important. That helps me a lot when I'm choosing my foundation is I base my foundation that I choose off of the undertone. And I know for me, I'm a golden yellow undertone. It has a full coverage. It's a matte finish, which I absolutely love. I love full coverage and I love matte finish makeup foundation. It's supposed to be 24 hour full coverage foundation. It has oil and shine control. It's supposed to be waterproof, wet resistant. It won't look cakey and it will not cause any future blemishes. Cat McGrath Labs. This is a skin fetish sublime perfection foundation. It retails for $68, but so many people have been raving about this foundation. This one has 36 different shades. It's long wearing. It builds from a sheer to medium coverage. It has medium coverage and natural finish for all skin types. It has long lasting wear. It's supposed to make your skin look smooth. It has a luminous finish, so it gives you that glowy dewy look. It's supposed to enhance radiance, decrease the appearance of skin imperfection. It has a creamy feel, enhanced wear, and buildable coverage. This is a high-end foundation that I would probably wear going out somewhere like an event, a concert, if I'm going to take pictures or if I have a photo shoot or if I'm going to do something on camera then I would pick up this foundation. Look at my pretty face! Ain't she cute? She's so cute. I kiss you but I don't want to get lipstick on ya. <laughs> say hi Naya! Hi! Naya say hi Kitty! Hi! Hi! <laughs> This is my other niece. She loves being on camera. She's such a sweet girl. Hey! It's gonna be a YouTuber, you guys. It's by Drunk Elephant. The one ounce retails for $78. 0.33 ounce retails for $28. This is a Drunk Elephant A. Passiani Retinol Cream. It is a retinol cream and I'm like big on skincare. I have been using a retinol cream for under my eyes. I rock. You can get that at Walmart or Target, but it's like $17, I believe. And I use it to apply underneath my eyes at nighttime. Something that I can use all over my face and that's going to really help with fine lines, it's going to help with dark circles, and really improve my skin texture and improve my face clarity. So this next product, I've had my eye on it for a while. I've also been hearing other influencers talk about this. This is by the brand Dermalogica. It's a daily micro exfoliant. 2.6 ounce retails for $59. And they also have a smaller size at 0.45 ounces. A daily exfoliator that you can use. It activates with water. You do is apply water to it. You mix it in between your hands and you apply it on your face and just scrub your face. It's a face scrub that's supposed to even and smooth your skin tone. Brighten your complexion. It's for all skin types. It also helps with fine lines, pores, wrinkles, uh, dullness, and an even skin texture. I currently use an exfoliator. I use the St. Ice Scrub, but I'm looking for something else, something that's like healthier. It has oatmeal, which the other one has as well. It also has ginkgo, which is a natural cleanser. It's supposed to help with the appearance of fine lines and clogged pores. You know, my pores get really clogged. The next but item that I want to mention is by Fersali. This is a Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. It retails for $54. They have a one ounce. They also have a 0.34 fluid ounces. It's a primer serum that is supposed to blur the skin, reduce appearance of pores, imperfection, create a bright and tune, fine tune effect. You can use this before your makeup. You can also use this as a serum. Uh, vegan, gluten, and cruelty free. It's also free of any synthetic fragrances. I haven't seen this product a lot on Instagram and YouTube and I've always been like, Wow, because it looks really cool like when they do IGTV videos with the makeup tutorials and I've been seeing the Persali product she's a lot. That has been something I have been eyeing for a while now. I just have never tried it. Really looking for products that are going to work well for my skin. And if you guys would be interested in a skincare routine, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I can do a self-care skincare routine video since we're still on quarantine. I only wear mascara like daily makeup look. I don't wear false eyelashes on a daily basis. I am looking for a new mascara to try and one that has been on my radar is by Benefit Cosmetics. This is a Bad Girl Bang Volumizing Mascara. It retails for $25. Supposed to last for 36 hours. Gives you full volume, a full blast. Make your eyelashes stand out. Easy to build. It gives you massive volume. Doesn't weigh down your lashes. Supposed to lift, lengthen, and volumize your eyelashes. This is by Too Faced. It's the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It retails for $34. They have a 1.35 ounce 
They also have a 0.68 ounce, which is a smaller one, of course. It's supposed to be a hydrating face primer that's a piece of coconut water and skin reviver. Coconut water is supposed to hydrate your skin. It's supposed to make your makeup stay fresher, last longer, be more of a dewy, glowy look. You know, for me, like I have combination skin, and I tend to stick more towards the mattifying primers, mattifying foundations and that sort of thing. would like to have like a dewy effect to my face. Not too much, but just a little bit. Their face also has a setting spray. It's a primer and setting spray in one. They have a mini size that retails for $16 and they have a bigger one. This is also coconut water infused. It's supposed to prime, set, and refresh your makeup. Get your skin hydrated. You can use this before you put on your makeup or you can use it after. You put on your makeup as a setting spray. Help with elasticity and tone while giving your skin that smoothing effect. Another item by Fenty Beauty, Snap Eyeshadows. You can mix and match these. I really like this because this is something that you can travel with. You can stick it in your purse, your backpack. Even if you're traveling somewhere, you can take it with you. It's $25. Eight different quads, which each of the quads come with six different eyeshadow shades. They have some neutral shades. They have bold bright color shades. Basically you get to choose whichever shade you want. It's basically a portable mini eyeshadow palette. It has a range of matte to shimmer shades. You can use them together. You can snap them to any two palettes together. To create your own eyeshadow palette. So cruelty, vegan, and gluten free as well too. I've been seeing a lot on social media. They have this turmeric mask. It's like a homemade turmeric mask. But I found one on Sephora. It is by Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. Never tried this out, but I do want to try it. The turmeric and the cranberry. It's supposed to make your skin energize, and I've been seeing a lot of reviews where people have been saying that you're really tired and you put this mask on your face. You're supposed to feel refreshed. Make your face feel really good. It's for if you have dullness or uneven skin texture. Energizing mask, which helps you visibly brighten for a nude, healthy look. It has turmeric, cranberry seeds. It exfoliates your skin, leaving it soft and smooth. Also gives your skin a burst of energy. I'm always looking for new masks. I'm always looking for different products to try on my face that will work well for my face. Now I'm going to mention a few of my favorites I had picked up before and I would recommend you guys try if this is your first time trying to find something during the sale. These are items that I personally do recommend that you guys try. So the first one is my Fenty Beauty. This is a Pro Filter Foundation. I love this. I use this mainly for whenever I go out somewhere. Taking pictures, going to a concert, or to go on a date, you can wear this for that. I don't really use this for daily wear, just mainly for like special occasions. Love this foundation because it is matte. It does last a long time. I have been using my Milk of Magnesia and I would put this foundation on top of that. My pictures always come out really good with that. The next one is by NARS and this is a natural long wearing radiant foundation. I did a review on this a while ago but it is still one of my favorite foundations to use. This is also one of those foundations that I would wear if I'm going to a special event or occasion. It does last a long time on the face. It gives really good pictures. I love the color shades. They have a variety of shades to choose from. They have undertones, which is really important, so it was easy for me to find my shade. It matched perfectly. Like, I literally looked for my undertone. This was the first shade that I picked up, and it matched perfectly with my skin tone. The shade that I got was in Macau, or Macaw, and it works really well. A lot of the products that I have are by Fenty Beauty. This is a Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I love this stuff. I also did a review on this as well. You guys can check that out in my previous videos for full reviews on these products. This is one of those go-to dealers that I love. It works really well for my under eyes. It covers the dark circles, the fine lines, and it gives it that nice full coverage that I like. Especially when it comes to going out and you're gonna take pictures, you really wanna make sure that your under eyes are nice and concealed. The next concealer I have here is by NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I absolutely love this too. It works really good for covering up those fine lines and dark circles. It really gives a nice opaque full coverage, which is very important, especially when you want your makeup to look really good. So this is a great concealer to add to your collection. I also have two highlighters. The first one, I'm not sure if it's still in stock because it was a limited edition highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills AM Rizzi Edition Highlighter. It's a really pretty coppery gold color. 
a highlighter that's not too overpowering. It gives you a nice glow, but it also gives you a subtle look. So if you're going for dramatic lip or dramatic eye, this highlighter will balance it out very good. The next highlighter is by Fenty Beauty, of course. This is Trophy White. This is a really pretty bright gold color. This is a highlighter that does stand out. You'll probably want to have a very neutral eyeshadow shades and a very neutral or nude lip color as well and just mainly focus on the highlighter because this highlighter is very bright it's very pigmented and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills I haven't tried it out yet and Reese eyeshadow palette I have almost all of them I do want to add this one too because it's really pretty this is perfect for the spring and the summer season because it has a bunch of shimmer shades there's a bunch of blues purples burgundies pinks it's a few neutral shades but it's mostly focused on colors in the shimmers and glitters this will be perfect to create any dramatic eyeshadow look and also any look for going out or just vacation vibes or spring vibes retails for $49 16 shadows pear ring cruelty and gluten free Tones, tones, smoky hues nudes as well as metallic eyeshadows one of those all-in-one eyeshadows where you can create a daytime look you can create a going out look you can create an evening wear look perfect eyeshadow palette to have thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed if you want to see a sephora haul make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what products you guys plan on trying out and i will see you all in my next one bye dolls